Hi there YouTube. So, miserable day out, so I thought I'd do a quick video uh, inside about my exciting news. So, um, I've been using my longbow a lot recently, shooting a lot more, trying to uh, build myself up to go into a couple of competitions, and things haven't been going so well. Um, I don't know if you can tell from some of the videos I've put up, but my groupings have been really shoddy, and my longbow has been making a really funny noise. Um, as I'm losing and I wasn't sure what this was about. I'm a bit concerned because the longbow is between 10 and 15 years old Which is a little bit worrying and um, it's a good age for a longbow and um, I'd say I'm getting this sort of like clicking or cracking noise as I'm loosing my arrows now I think it's because the wooden arrows I use are getting a little bit old as well um, and it's just I'm having to straighten them constantly because I think they've just got old and weakened and when I did actually buy new arrow equipment and make new arrows uh, I think I got sent the wrong spine or my bows lost a lot of poundage because um, it really wasn't performing the way it should. So um, the girlfriend had a quick chat to me knowing my birthday's coming up and decided to get me a nice new present and those of you who follow my Instagram account might have seen this but I have a new bow. So I shot that yesterday, here it is. Ooh. It's a Cartel Viper or Cartel Klaus as this one's known as, uh, Deluxe. Um, it's an American flat bow. Um, exotic woods, not sure which ones, and fiberglass. It draws at um, 53 pounds at 28. It's supposed to be 50, but it's a little bit heavier than that. So 53 pounds at 28 inches. It's 68 inches tip to tip. Um, nice leather handle and arrow pass. As I said, it's, it's in the UK. It's known as a flat bow, but otherwise an American longbow or a longbow in America um, and it's it's just lovely it is the smoothest shooting thing I've ever shot and I've shot quite a few recurves and obviously um, one or two longbows as well um, this thing is absolutely gorgeous um, so it's uh, as I say it's uh, exotic woods it's quite rich looking actually I really like the uh, colours on it um, nice Ooh, woven leather grip there. Um, I'm not too keen on the actual handle. It could be a little bit more molded, um, but actually, I think it's just a case of getting used to it. But, uh, oh, I, I just absolutely love it. If, if you have a look, I'll, uh, I'll set it up for you in a sec. It's ever so slightly recurved, uh, unstrung, but uh, you don't see any of that once it is strung. That's just to help it. Uh, chuck the arrows out a little bit faster and it really does this is such a quick bow and makes such a nice noise I'll uh, try and get some videos of me actually shooting it up for you guys soon um, for now I'm going to string it and we'll draw it a couple of times and I'll uh, talk a little bit more about it okay alright guys so this is the bow strung up as you can see that recurve that you could see in it before the strung is completely gone so you get this nice desection again um, and as I said before I, because of this nice sort of like D shape of it it really does shoot them absolutely beautifully um, so we'll have a couple of drawers here the roof isn't too tall so I can't hit it but, uh, yeah you can really feel that Handed behind that. Um, a couple of people have drawn it in the club, and uh, it's a, it's a bit of a monster. Uh, Fifty pounds is more than enough um, if you're in America, and uh, I think it's uh, enough for you guys to go hunting up there. And down here, certainly enough to do some target shooting. Um, I'm not sure I want to shoot it out in the field, but uh, as I say, for target archery, especially when I'm tired, I'm I just I just love it. Don't know whether I'll compete with it, but. I really do love it, so uh, I'll draw it a couple more times for you guys. So as you see, there's a nice bend to the limbs, no bend to the handle at all, and you have that nice to center arrow pass as well, um, just to keep your shots on target. One thing I haven't noticed I'm doing is actually, when I am shooting, I'm uh, <laughs> missing the target to the left because I'm used to having to aim more to the left 
um, because of the way longbow shoots. So it's really nice to have uh, something like this. That it also feels reliable. Do you know what I mean? It does like the longbow. You're always worried about whether it will, you know, give up one day and whether it will break. But this this feels solid touch wood. But it feels uh, it feels solid. It feels like I'll get a good uh, good couple of years out of it. And that that draw power really doesn't get old. It really doesn't. And because it is so heavy, you get a really nice loose in it. You don't really have much choice but to release quite nicely. So, uh, so yeah, so that's that. So, to go with the new bow I've had, I thought best get some arrows that um, actually shoot straight as well. So, after talking to Advark Archery and my good friend Neil down there, um, who actually, uh, we talked about which bow I should get and what he thought would be best for me within my price range. Um, we talked a well about arrows and uh, they're really good at Aardvark, so I went down there um, picked up the bow and sort of said, look, um, I want arrows with it. And um, they took me aside and basically custom made me arrows, uh, especially for that bow and for my draw length. So these are my arrows. They are Easterns, um, Platinum Plus, apparently. Um, they're nice, they shape my draw. My draw is 27 uh, inches. Um, nice uh, black parabolic feathers um, which help uh, slow down the arrow a little bit quicker and stabilize it a little bit quicker off the bow um, and the shafts are rather thick to cope with the quite heavy poundage of the bow and um, they just fly beautiful I mean compared to the uh, older arrows and the ones I've made these are you can see why people go for aluminium ones these days um, so yeah, they're absolutely lovely. So I've got a set of six of these as well to shoot and hopefully I'll put a video up soon of how I'm doing with the new equipment. So until then, I'll uh, leave you guys to it. Thanks for watching. Bye!